is the best platform for PC gaming hands down. It has the most options for games. It has great sales. And if you're an indie dev, Steam is a great place to get your start. But it has a very weird trend of games like this coming out every two weeks. You hop on over to the new and trending tab and oh, look at that. Furry fucking Hitler. I personally own a couple of games like this because they were given to me as gag gifts. And some of these games have been removed from the Steam store and I can't imagine why. Now these games exist probably for a couple of reasons. Some edgy watchers are really racist for some reason. Don't toy with me, Nagatoro. Sparked some extreme tweets to say the least. So some of these games could have been made unironically, which I pray is not the case. But the most conceivable reason I think these are made is because of Shot Factor, because I mean, I'm making a video about them right now. So I'd say it worked. And with raving reviews like, I have strayed far from God's light this evening. I think I had to check out how bad these games were. First up, Furry Hitler. After opening the game, I'm greeted with this music that is way too loud. Lots of games have this problem. But in a game like this, I'm giving it zero leeway. The options menu consists of a resolution, full screen, music, sound effects, and whatever the fuck this language is. And the first person you meet is Hitler. And I honestly thought he was going to blow his brains out in front of me. Luckily, that didn't happen. But when we switch scenes of the game, I find out that I am furry Hitler. Then I meet some other furry who is like my psychotic executioner in the game who just does anything I say. And honestly, I don't know for sure who she is because there was a lot of text and typos. And I got very bored and skipped it all until I was prompted to execute people. I don't even know who I agreed to execute because I skipped all of the dialogue. And then for some reason, when I clicked execute, I was prompted with furry feet and a tongue icon and a feather icon. This is where I lit my PC on fire to cleanse it of its sins. Next game, Hentai Nazi. I opened the game and the music was awful and louder than Furry Hitler. I clicked start and it was the same in the game, so I alt F4. Hentai Nazi Hitler is back. I was hoping this would be a little bit better given, you know, it's a sequel and this one has Joseph Stalin in it, but I quit as soon as I saw play the YouTube friendly version without Hitler speech. I don't know what I expected, but these games were all awful and somehow the furry one was the best from an actual game perspective, mainly just because it had an option menu. I also think though that the furry one was made unironically, so that's uh, really unfortunate. All right, boys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, like and subscribe if you're new and also check out my Twitter at Spatins1 and click the end screen to check out more of my content and have a great rest of your day.